What's good YouTube? In this video, we'll be taking a look at the best iPhone 15 features to preserve battery life and longevity. If you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So with all the features and things that you can do on these new iPhones, maximizing battery longevity remains a pretty big concern for a lot of people. Thankfully, Apple has shipped these iPhones with a lot of settings that when you configure them correctly can significantly extend your battery life. These range from fine tuning certain app behaviors to managing the brightness with each adjustment providing a pretty vital role in the overall shape of your battery life. In this video we'll dive deep into some of these settings and explain how they can work to get the most out of your iPhone's battery performance. Whether you're a casual user or a power user, these settings will help you strike the ideal balance between functionality and battery efficiency. So let's get started here. The first setting that we want to take a look at is background app refresh. To access background app refresh, what you want to do is jump into your settings here. And then from there, you want to scroll down and you want to look for general. And then from there, background app refresh is actually usually below iPhone storage and above date and time. And then from there, you want to be able to hit background app refresh. If you didn't know, background app refresh is a sophisticated automated feature on your iPhone that allows apps to periodically update their content even when they're act not actively in use. So if your screen isn't showing Instagram, for example, Instagram will still update with the latest information. This can lead to a notable drain on resources, particularly if you have a lot of apps running at a given time. Here in this list of background app refresh, you can actually selectively choose between all of the apps that you have on your phone and you can decide whether or not you want these on or off. So if you know for sure that there's an app that there's a lot of content that's refreshing in the background, you can turn this off and this will both help preserve battery life and sell your data if you're by chance using sell your data to refresh some of these apps. If you want to turn this off as a whole, you can do so as well. And you can also include settings for Wi-Fi and sell your data, Wi-Fi, or just turn them off as a whole. So if you find yourself using a lot of apps and you don't know why your battery life is draining suddenly, then it might be as a result of background app refresh. So you want to make a pretty careful selection on which apps here do have access to background app refresh. The next setting that we're going to take a look at involves photos and iCloud. So to get into this setting, what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to go all the way down to photos, which is usually below TV and above camera. So if you hit photos, you want to scroll down and you want to look for sell your data. This is usually below show hidden albums and above autoplay video and live photos. So if you hit show sell your data here, if you don't know this setting, dictates whether your iPhone can synchronize backup data to iCloud while using cellular data. When this is enabled, your iPhone will use mobile data and cellular data to upload services to iCloud. This will potentially consume both your battery power and also your cellular data. So if you have a lot of photos that you're constantly uploading to iCloud, or if you have a lot of photos that you're downloading to iCloud, you may want to have this turned off because a constant update will both drain your battery life and sell your data. This approach will safeguard both your battery life and also your monthly cellular data. And it's really advantageous if you want to make sure how many photos you're getting uploaded to iCloud and how much battery you're losing for those photos. The next setting is actually a display setting and it's actually called reduced motion and you can access this by going into accessibility and then from there you want to scroll down and you want to look for motion. This is usually below display and text size and above spoken content. So if you hit motion there, you want to hit the reduced motion and this, if you don't know, is a visual accessibility setting where this will reduce animations and certain aesthetic appeal animations that require a lot more drain on your battery because of the animations on the screen. With these high resolution displays, turning on reduced motion will streamline transitions, rendering them more direct and will be a lot less battery intensive. So if you don't need the smoothest animations on the transitions for your iPhone, you can make sure you turn reduced motion off and then this will help save some battery life. 
Next up, we have low power mode, which a lot of you might be familiar with as low power mode actually activates automatically if your iPhone gets to a certain battery percentage. To access low power, power mode, what you want to do is jump into your settings and you want to look for battery. This is usually below exposure notifications and above privacy and security. So from there, you want to hit battery. And then you'll notice that the second option is low power mode. Low power mode is a powerful tool to conserve battery life, especially if you're using your phone for extended periods without access to charging. When this is turned on, low power mode makes adjustments temporarily to certain settings on your iPhone. It reduces the device's processing speed. It, it, it stops things like background app refresh and deactivate certain animations and visual effects. And this will hopefully, as a total, reduce the battery life and improve the energy efficiency of your iPhone. So if you're using your phone for a long time without charging and you don't know when the next charge is, you might want to turn on low power mode just to help save some of the battery drain. The next setting is a pretty simple one, but it's a something that a lot of people overlook, and that's actually adjusting the iPhone's brightness. These new screens get exceptionally bright, and it's actually a brightness that you might have on inadvertently because some different brightness levels are more than sufficient to read the text on the screen. So you want to make sure that you're adjusting your iPhone's brightness just to the point where you can read it if you want to conserve battery life, because of course the screen is one of the major factors that drains the iPhone's battery. This seemingly minor adjustment does have significant ramifications for extending battery life, particularly if you're in a well-lit environment where lower brightness settings are more than adequate for your visibility. The next setting that we want to take a look at is actually along the same vein and it's actually the automatic brightness setting that you have on your iPhone. To get to automatic brightness, what you want to do is jump into your settings and you want to look for accessibility, which is usually below home screen and app library. You want to hit accessibility and then from there you want to look for display and text size. This is usually below zoom and above motion. After you hit display and text size, you want to scroll down and you want to look for auto brightness. And of course, if you don't know what auto brightness is, it's right here and you can use the toggle switch to turn it on and off. Automatic brightness is a pretty sophisticated feature of the iPhone where it uses the ambient light sensors on the iPhone to adjust the screen brightness based on the current lighting conditions that the iPhone is in. So if you need more brightness, the iPhone will automatically adjust this. Having this turned on is great as because if you're in a well-lit area and don't need as much, much brightness, the iPhone will automatically turn this on and decrease the brightness. So you don't actually have to worry about adjusting yourself. It's great if you find yourself indoors and you actually transition between different lighting environments as it's an autopilot that allows you to control your iPhone's brightness and then in turn, hopefully conserve some battery life. So there you have it everyone, just some very useful features on the iPhone 15 series of phones that will help you conserve battery life. If you have any other features that you'd like to be included here, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.